Hello again and welcome to another video about me using Tana. In my previous video you saw me and how I used the ultimate annual review by uh, Steve Schlafman um, and combined it with the work from Francesco D'Alessio to create some sort of more smaller mon monthly steps. Uh, today I want to show you how you can use AI and uh, specifically GPT-3 to help you with this. So at the end of the annual review, you actually write a letter to your future self. Now I rewrote this letter a bit and um, I have a sort of anonymized version of this. So basically what the letter goes into is that I hope to exercise a bit more and I hope to find someone else to sort of take over part of my tasks. And I mentioned Arturo from the previous videos as the perfect candidate for this, but I don't know, for instance, to be sure. I also said that I wanted to become a little bit more about try to um, have grace and leadership combined instead of being annoyed to listen more and to understand more. So one of the things I struggled with was at the end of the annual review, you have to sort of set it into more concrete, smaller monthly goals. And this is not easy, but the AI can help for this. So to start, I copy the letter and I actually go over to GPT-3. And in this case, I say given the following uh, letter to my future self, and then I paste the letter, give me a set of detailed monthly goals for the next six months, um, separated by month. And as you can see, it will actually um, give you a set of nicely separated goals per month. So in this case, for instance, in month one, it says take time to reflect on the letter from last year and ask yourself how you can make the changes needed to achieve the goals that you mentioned. Um, begin to research potential candidates to take some of your tasks and set a time each week to dedicate to exercise and physical ability. So it actually um, identified the three things I wanted to do and created a smaller set goal of this. In month two, it actually iterates on this. It says, review your research and determine if Arturo is a viable option for taking up some of these tasks. Create a detailed plan for how you will manage your tasks and delegate them efficiently and increase the intensity of your exercise routine to begin to incorporate strength training into your weekly routine. So as you can imagine, this is actually a very good way to sort of start playing with these things. Um, as you can see, it only finished up to month four. Um, I can ask it to continue on. Uh, and I asked it to continue on until month six, so there it will stop. So here you can see increase the intensity of the exercise and that additional weight bearing exercise and focus on improving overall strength. So it actually tried to incorporate smaller steps about everything. So for instance, in this case, I would also like um, add some themes to each month to focus on and help me to measure success. So now it actually said first month, clarity and research, second planning and exercise, discussion and delegation, networking and exercise, connecting and hobbies and reflecting and strengths. Okay. So this doesn't really help me yet with how to make it all measurable. So how can I make this more measurable um, by tracking things uh, throughout next year? Oh, next year. So here it has some suggestions. So you can track the number of tasks you've delegated, the number of connections you've made, the number of events you've attended, hobbies and activities you had. By tracking your progress throughout the year, you can ensure that you're training on track and achieving your goal. So I used this sort of format to keep asking the AI questions. And in the end, I came up with my own monthly plan. Of course, I didn't just copy and paste everything the AI said, but you can also go into specific things. So for instance, only take out the exercise routine and make a plan uh, and make that measurable. And it's really helpful for me to use it as a sparring partner to actually see and make it all manageable. So that's actually what I want to show today and how you use AI in your annual review and how to make that into a, into a monthly plan. Okay. Thank you for listening.